Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garn, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have our shout out to Bridget, Annie, K. Ree, B. Reborn Art Healing, Becky, and Wendy. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside. It'll go right over here. <clears throat> Let me move a couple things. There we go. Today what we're going to do is we are going to make coffee ring stained journaling cards. Coffee ring stained journaling cards. <laughs> All right. So I have some music paper here and then I have those coffee dyed index cards. Now these index cards are lined. You don't have to use lined ones. These just happen to be lined. And this is a six by four index card. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our coffee slurry. Now this is just instant coffee. I mixed it up rather dark. And then I went and looked for a cup. Now I wanted a cup with a small bottom. Cups and mugs and dishes, they come with a little bottom, that a rim on the bottom. That's the word I'm looking for. And that's what we're going to use to make our coffee, our coffee ring stain. So let's start with our music paper first. I'm simply going to take my cup and I'm going to place it into the coffee mixture. And then I'm going to place it on, like we're going to use it like a stamp on my music paper. We're using it like a stamp. And I'm going to do mine here and there just like this because we're going to cut this up and we're going to use our music paper and back it with our index card. So we're just doing here and there. I'm going to go back over that one. Turn this cup around. Give a couple rings. There we go. So just moving my paper up and just using it as a stamp. Okay, I like that. Now I'm going to wipe this off, just like that. That all wiped off. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to set this aside so it will dry, because we're going to have to have this dry before we continue. So I'm just setting it down here. Alrighty, back again. Let's get our cards. Now you'll need to decide if yours are lined. Do you want this to be on the back of your journaling card or would you rather have it be like this? I kind of like the lines. It just gives it another texture. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to put it on my coffee dyed index card. And I think I'm just going to do maybe three on here. And then there's one more thing I'd like to do. And I'm looking for, here it is. I have a fan brush. It looks just like that. I'm going to get my scissors, bring them in. I'm going to put some of my coffee mixture onto my fan brush and then I'm simply going to hold my scissors and tap just like that. So wipe this back off so it doesn't drip. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I think that looks fantastic. We can do that, I'm sorry, I'm setting that over to the side. We can do that with our music paper as well. I just wanted it to dry just a little bit more before I did any splattering on it. So let's get our cup again. And we could do a couple at, at once. We don't have to do them one at a time. It could be more of a mass make going on here. Okay, 
and they're all going to be so different. As you can very well see, it's very different. Each and every one turns out differently. Alrighty, so let me set my cup over here. And let's bring in our fan brush, filling it with some coffee mixture, using our scissors, and then tapping. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? Now, I purchased the fan brush at a local craft shop <clears throat> in the uh, paint section, you know, where they have their acrylic paints. That's where I purchased it. I purchased it singly by itself. It didn't come in a package. And they have expensive ones and then they have non-expensive ones. Of course, I just purchased the non-expensive one. That is so pretty, don't you think? I think that's gorgeous. Let me get these dry. We need to bring in our music paper so we can splatter that too. Let me grab it. Here is my music paper. It's still very wet, but that's okay. Let's get our fan brush loaded up with some coffee slurry. And let's just splatter it. Oh, that was a good splatter. Now this does kind of go everywhere, so warning. It's a little bit messy. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me get this dry, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with them. Alright, you guys, so I have them all dried. Aren't they cool looking? They're all different, and they're it's all unique. So what I want to do now is I want to mark these. I'm going to bring these down to 4 by 5. So these are 6 now, so I'm going to mark them right here. You could have cut them down before we started. I just grabbed them and started the video, so I am now going to trim them down. So trimming this one down, and I'm going to use this one as a template. I'm going to look and see. I think I want it to be this way. I want my coffee images to definitely be on the part that I'm going to keep and not the part I'm going to trim off. And then I have one more to trim right here. And as I do this, I'm going to tell you what is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. It's a weekly drawing that I have on my YouTube channel. It's a drawing for Happy Mail. And it the, the way that you can enter into the drawing is by helping me spread happiness through simple acts of kindness. Now, all I'm doing, you guys, is I'm taking my index card I'm going to glue the back and I'm going to lay them on to my, I'm just going to get two on there, I guess. I'll just lay them right on here and then I'm going to trim it out. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So, which ones do I want? This one's really cool. I'm just going to take these two. All right. So, by helping me spread happiness through simple acts of kindness, letting someone in line at the grocery store because you have 20 items and they have two. Letting someone in line of uh, traffic because no one else is going to do it and it's a long line. That's my favorite. I love it when someone does that for me. And I love doing that for someone else. That one is a win-win because they're so appreciative. Usually they wave and they're all happy and then that just makes you happy too. So simple acts of kindness, they don't have to cost us anything. We don't know what everyone is going through and some people are going through a lot. And sometimes just simple acts of kindness from another person just gives them enough enough motivation, enough lifted spirit to just keep going. And that's what we need to do, you guys. We need to keep going. So make sure you're in the most recent Kathy Sewing Happiness video and in the comment se section. Tell me your simple act of kindness towards another person. If you choose not to tell me what your act of kindness is, simply type in spreading happiness and that will be your entry. Now, if you enter, please check back next Sunday because that's when your name will be in the fishbowl 
and we might draw your name out and I'm going to need your address to send you happy mail as my way of paying it forward. And that is what hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness is all about. So I do hope that you join me, join me and uh, spread happiness, joining me by spreading happiness. That's why I should say it. So we've got our two cards right here. Aren't they cool looking? So I doubt that they will be able to be corner rounded because it's pretty doggone wet. I think I might go dry it so that I can get these corners rounded and then we're going to decorate them up and I'll show you what they look like in just a second. All right, so I have them all dried now. Let's go ahead and let's try out this corner rounder. Oh yeah, it's going to just pop them right off. Perfect. So I'm rounding all of the corners. Now in my examples, I mounted my music paper the long way. This one, my music paper is going this way. Now, some people, it doesn't bother if you put music up, you know, not the way it would be read. I, um, it kind of bothers me. So I like to put my music in the direction that it's read. Now, like I said, my example is this way. Now, maybe you have some images that you fussy cut have fussy cut it and they are images that would go the long way so you would be able to what on earth did you see that big fly you guys oh my stars my granddaughter saw it yesterday and I oh, we have to get it that was gross okay back to the video so <laughs> if you have fussy cuts that are the long way like this then this would work perfect maybe your fussy cuts are taller and maybe slender you could do it this way. Now I'm using the exact same fussy cuts for all of my little coffee ring stained journaling cards. I'm using the same digital. It's brand new. I just purchased it. I think they're adorable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to ink up my edges like this just a little bit. Not a lot but just a little and I'm going to turn it on the back. I also sewed mine all the way around and I'm thinking I might do that for this these two as well so first I need to ink it up just like this and um, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and put my tabs on it as well before I go ahead and sew it so you can see what that also looks like so it's red this way and this is the way I'd like to do these so I'm doing two this way and then I have three examples that are this way. All right, so now I've got a little bit of cardstock that I have coffee dyed. This is my tab punch and I'm just simply going to punch myself out four. Now, yes, I know you can punch them out together. I don't know, I just like to do mine this way. So just getting my little tabs punched out. It's very simple and easy to do. And then I'm going to put them together like this and gently brush them with my sponge that has my vintage photo ink on it. And so that's for that one. And then this one right here is for this one. Just get that done very quickly here. Okay, looking great. I'm going to grab my art glitter glue and I'm going to just place this down here just so I can get an idea <clears throat> of about where I want to place these. So it's fairly in the middle. It's not perfect, but you know, it's just a good measure of in the in the center of my card. So putting my glue on the side that's not inked and then just simply laying it down and matching the two up. Alrighty. There we go. We've got that tab on that one. We're going to do the exact same thing on this one. As you can see, this would be a perfect mass make. It would be so much fun. And once you get your coffee slurry in a lower bowl with your cup that you're going to make the coffee stain, the coffee ring stains, 
you could do all kinds of things. You could do your notebook paper. You could do uh, your some more coffee dyed paper. You could just start putting that on lots of things while you have it out. You don't have to just do it for this project. You could do a lot of them and have them on hand. Now I'm going to take these to my machine, but as you can see, they're perfectly fine this way. If you don't have a machine, you don't have to worry about it because you can still make this project and it's still going to be adorable. But I'm going to go over and I'm going to sew it and then I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I've sewn around the edge with some black thread. Oh, the backs look so cute, don't they? I just love this. So let me show you my new Fussy Cut Digitals right here. <clears throat> they are from Flutter by Digitals and they call them Colorful Santas. Oh, I think they are absolutely precious. There are all kinds of them. So cute, right? Now I haven't made a purple one yet and I haven't made a pink, pink one yet. I don't think I made a pink one. No, I made a red, blue, and a green. So let's make a purple and a pink one. And let's move this over just like this. Now I've already inked them up around the edge. I have some beautiful sorry silk from Crimson Heart Studios. And I need to pull out the pink and then the purple because we're going to use a little bit of sorry on this project. And I am simply going to say to myself, where do I want my Santa? Well, I really like that spot of coffee there. So I want this Santa to be on this side. So let's go ahead and let's get this Santa placed down where we want it using my art glitter glue. There we are. And just simply laying it down right there. Let me get my little wipe here. Just a little tiny bit of paper towel. That's all this is. Nothing special. There we go. Now let's go ahead and let's get our, well just put our glue on. Yeah, let's see. Uh, do I want it here or do I want it here? I kind of like it there. I don't know. It just kind of, um, I think it looks good with those um, larger spots of coffee. So I'm just going to pop it right there. Aren't they cute? I know I said that before, but they are so cute. Now I have some labels by J. Lee Lu. And let's see which label would look cute with this one. That's cute. Okay. I want it over on this side, I do think. That's real cute. Let's see, I think I like the, the, the longer one. Let's see, which one did I particularly like? I really like that one. And on this one, let's see, probably should have popped it underneath that, but that's okay. That's all right. We can make this work. Oh, that's cute on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just place my glue on here and get it down so we can keep going to finish these off. These are so cute. Alrighty, now the link is down below for the Fussy Cut Santas and the labels. And of course for the Sari Silk. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a little bow out of our pink simply by making a bow right here. Pulling it down so it's about the right size. I like my tails on here. I'm going to use the tails. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. I'm using hot glue. It's quick, it's easy, and it's great for videos. And then I'm going to take my little streamer here and I'm just going to pop it up a little bit. I twisted it a little, pop it up, give it a little movement. And then down here, a little bit of glue, give it a little movement. Then I'm going to trim it off. I have my scissors right here. Just give it a trim. Saving this piece, I never throw any of my sari away. They're great to make little, little tabs on a card 
a journaling card, especially a thank you journaling card that I've made for my Etsy shop when someone purchased something. There we go. That's really cute. I like that. All right, let's do this one. So we've got this pretty purple. I still have my ends on here where it was spliced. And simply make a bow, a loop, go around, pull it through. And there is our bow. Pull it down so it's not so big, right? We don't want a huge bow. That's cute. All right, let's get that right in the corner. Pop it down just like that. Give it a little twist. Maybe put a little blob of glue there. Push it on. Pull it up. And let's twist it again. There. That's good. Now let's twist the tail. And let's pop it on right there. And then maybe right here. Oh, that's perfect. Trim it off. We need a little bling on here, don't you think, guys? So I'm going to bring in my dish with my bling and a little tiny piece of net. Can you see that? I'll put it on my shirt. Just a little piece of net. And I'm going to put it right here on the... I'm going to get a smaller piece. Right here on the label itself. I'm just going to glue it right on here, just like that. And I'm going to add my glue onto my tab, my label, I call it a label, it's a tab, and adding my bling. And let's go over here and let's pop it on right here, just like that. And then grabbing some bling and adding it on. All right, now let's see how these look. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness, I think they would be adorable in a journal. I absolutely love the back too. I think the back looks fantastic as well. What a nice spot to do some journaling on. Now here's one. I made, I told you, I made it the long way, so you can see the difference, and the back is like that, and then let's look at this, this is the blue one and the pink that we made together, and then turn it on the back, it looks like this, and the last one I'm going to show you is the red one, but on the back I did not use the line, so there's the difference between the line and the not the line, so I coffee dyed the part that had the line, so this is the back part. I didn't directly coffee dye that. That seeped through the back, so that's why it looks totally different. Oh my goodness, either way you make them, they're absolutely adorable. So let's go ahead and let's have our drawing for Happy Mail to see who is one. Let's bring in the fishbowl. Stir it up really good. If you entered into last week's Hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. Your name is in this fishbowl. And let's see who has won. Now, if you enter this week, please check back next week. I really want to send your happy mail out, but I cannot do it unless I have your address. So who has won happy mail this week from me to you as my way of paying it forward? There's two here, but... This one's plain. I just accidentally put two together. I want to make sure you saw that. Stacy Lynn. Stacy, you have won happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. You guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.